I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. <laughs>
Thank you for releasing me! Oh, Good god, it's gonna be one of these again. Just me ranting through the whole video. By the way, I probably should mention that this is my favorite game out of the series. I, that probably would have helped with the intro. <laughs> I'm kind of stupid, but anyway, let's let's Great talk to Toga. Okay. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Can you stop them? Okay, now see. In the first game, I was wondering why the Norks were taking the gems. It's because they turned the gems into the Norks. Okay, but this one is just oh, the lizards <laughs> are just taking them for no reason. <laughs> they have no oh, um, you probably can't see it because my face cam is in the way. But uh, I got a spirit soul from the enemy. Yeah, the enemies don't drop gems; they drop their souls, and you can use them to, I believe, to unlock a uh, power up uh, thing in the jigs to allow you to use like uh, fires and. Uh, j I I'm pretty sure it's just the super flame and gliding. I, I forget. It's been a little while, so I'm a little rusty, so I can't remember every single detail. So you'll have to excuse me for not uh, the, not that remembering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go ahead and take out these uh, lizards. Uh, they're mining. Where are they? Uh, I, I suppose they're mining for the gems. Um. Oh, look at Big Nasty here with his hammer. He's ready to go. He's like, you wanna go, bro? Let's do it, bro. You wanna go? He's pathetic. He's absolutely pathetic. I mean, <laughs> you figure that some of these enemies would actually be a little bit stronger? No, just er er pretty much every enemy is a single hit. Um, Alright. Yeah, the the gym colors also change a bit, and also their shape, so... That's a, that's a little nifty. It, changed it, it mixes it up a little bit. Creates more variety, I suppose. Um, did, I, did I get everything here? Yeah, uh, right off the bat, you can tell that this one, uh, the graphics are a, a, a bit touched up a bit. Uh, the voice acting is a bit better. <laughs> uh, don't. And also, we ain't gonna worry about dragons. We're not saving dragons in this one, so we ain't gonna worry about uh, collecting like 80 dragons and like 60% of them just say thank you for rele releasing me and leaving me to save the world on my own. Ugh. Hi Spyro, I'm a friend of Alora's and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. Ow. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Okay, so the, the fairies work pretty much the same. The only difference is they're just sort of floating around. They ain't uh, actually at a dragon platform or anything like that. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm not going to be able to get all the gems in this level because of these thingies right here. I have to use a power-up to fly around and hit those gems. And the only way to get to the power- up well, gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Well, thank you for explaining that to, uh, to them, Whiskers. I was just about to explain that, but yeah, I, I can't climb ladders right now, so I'm going to have to come back to this world. But I will go ahead and try to get as many of the gems as I can, just because it will be easy on me when I come back. Um, oh, let's talk the money bags real quick, because we're going to have to anyway. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon be me. or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Yeah, see, that's one of the things with this game, is that they actually make the gems useful. You actually have to buy things. And by buying things, is pretty much just paying off money back so he can do simple tasks to allow you to progress. He's kind of, he's kind of a cheapskate, Thank also. Thank you, um, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. <laughs> oh god. I hate him. <laughs> Did you see the lizard? He just jumped up on the bridge like, No, I got this, I got this, guys. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. I know, Zoe! Don't... don't... The lizard got... The lizard got away! See, I'm using triangle to look at you! To shame you for causing the lizard to get away! Yeah! 
burn you. Even though you're immortal for some reason, because you're, a, 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 I guess fairies are immortal and are flame resistant. Get out of here with your hammer. <laughs> I told you, this is just going to be me raging at everything. <laughs> Even though I'm enjoying the game, it's just, I really get aggravated with these people. <laughs> Especially. <laughs> Why don't you help the gem cutters and they'll show you the way to Summer Forest. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't want to talk to... It's, let's just get out of here before they cause me to have an issue. I don't I, I don't know what the issue would be. Um, uh, uh, I go into a fit of rage. <laughs> just start blaming all of them. There's the lizard that got away. Spyro, the one that got away. helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Oh yeah, this is another new thing, is that when you complete the worlds, you get their talismans. I, I don't remember if there's any... This magic uh, portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Okay, I know what portals do, uh, Twitchy. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't think the uh, talismans really do anything, from what I remember. You, you just sort of get them at the end of the level, just to say pretty much that you completed the level. Um, they might, they, they might serve some purpose, but I, I can't remember offhand, so excuse me on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, another thing is that the enemies to get health, they tend to be a lot bigger in this one. Uh, like, they're a lot more noticeable. Um, hmm. alright. Let's just go ahead, clear out the enemies before I start dealing with anything else. I okay, have 13 of the souls. I'm pretty sure that's enough to uh, uh, to uh, start up all the uh, power ups. I believe it was only 10, uh, and I'm doing the uh, lamp post like an idiot. All right, and of course the uh, the uh, whirlwinds return, looking as sparkly as ever. Um, pretty sure that's all I can get for right now without a power up. So let's talk to uh, this guy right here. Great! The Superfly power up is active and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. All right, all right. Diffic yeah, and also with this one, you basically get like little mini quests. Like you have to light up the posts and stuff and it has a difficulty level, level uh, one star, obviously mm -hmm. the easiest. All right, uh, let's just uh, try it. Let's let's do it. Let's light up these uh, lamp posts. One out of s uh, all right. So six. Have to get six. Uh, three. Four. Five. Eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, I I can't. Come on now. Come. On. There we go. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was just gonna run out of time and just look like Thanks a complete idiot. Like the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Yeah, and this is also another currency, orbs. Uh, with orbs, I believe it's like you use those to unlock the boss battles and secret levels. I believe. Um, there could be more. I, like I said, I can't. I'm, I'm not fully refreshed on the game. I, I probably could have just looked up the uh, the lore of the game or whatever or something like that to actually uh, have all my info ready. But you know what? I'm not professional at all, so uh, I prefer to just free ball it and uh, let uh, let everything just uh, uh, go as it goes. Yeah, yeah, that's that was a horrible way to put it. Um, all right, can I can I get up here? No, I can't fly up there. Alright, um, there's one more quest over here. Oh yeah, you have to throw the rocks at the lizard. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Now, can I just say how much of a gangster this mouse is? <laughs> These lizards are eating everything! I tried throwing rocks at him! <laughs> he was just... No! <laughs> He's the most brutal character in the whole game! <laughs> hit, hit little lizards with rocks! 
<laughs> That's so um, evil if you think about it. Alright. So, <laughs> this is another thing. You can t pick up a lot of different items and stuff and throw them. And this laughing reminds me of the thieves from the first game, which is uh, something to point, point out. There are no thieves in this game, so we don't have to worry about chasing them down. Alright. My shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Follow me to the next lizards. Alright. Oh, that. This is uh, another new feature. You can do a little hover uh, up when you glide. So it helps for getting on ledges, which was uh, sort of a issue with the uh, first game. It was really hard to uh, like. You would see. You can spit pretty uh, far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to that lizard. Spit all the way to the lizard. But yeah, if you watch my. Uh, Let's play of the first game. You, you notice that there was a lot of times where I would hit the ledge of a cliff and then fall to my death. If I would have had the uh, little uh, hover uh, thingy, that that probably wouldn't have happened as much. Uh, the chances are I'm probably gonna fall <laughs> into. To hit the, that in lizard up high, you'll have to aim, press, and hold the triangle. I, I, I know, I've been doing it. These people interrupt me so much. But yeah, I probably will be falling to my death in this one quite a bit as well. So uh, yeah, that's a welcome uh, trend that's returning. <laughs> welcome to your, you guys, probably not not to me too much. Uh, that's pretty pretty depressing. Uh, Alright, um, this guy has me run through like basically near the beginning of the uh, level. Right, where's the lizard? Uh, here? Um, where is he? Hello? Oh, there he is! Alright! Go! Uh, uh, that would have sucked if I missed him. I honestly thought I was. Alright, come on, bud. To the next place! Lizard, I should say. Well, it's a good thing I did come back! Missed some gems. This is the second to last lizard? All right, one more, one more. Which I believe, yeah, he's up on this thing. All right. Uh, I like how the mouse can just hop up here with a crazy super jump, and I can barely. I fell off. Woo! All right, you're. Oh wow, I can't even reach. Him. Just move back here. All right. Come on, bud. Okay. Go. Hit him. Yes. Save my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. And yeah, that's. Uh, I mentioned about the dialogue being better. There's a lot more dialogue in this, <laughs> like a ton more. Um, all right, let's uh, head back here because there is a couple gems I did miss. And by a couple gems I miss, I mean the one little <laughs> basket over here that I miss. Bam. All right. And the rest, I'm just going to leave because the rest doesn't, it doesn't really matter because I can't get them all right now. So let's just fly up out of here. Away. Hey. <laughs> In summer forest, dot, dot, dot. Get here before me anyway. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismen? 
If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. You know, I like how they assume that I'm going to help them. <laughs> Just because I saved the land of the dragons once. But, oh, 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 you saved the world once. Huh? I bet you could do it again. Why don't you get the dragons I saved? We were completely lazy in the last game. Did you to help you out? You know, you, even though I was the only stupid one to actually jump in the portal. But uh, uh, all right, um, I think what I'm gonna do with this video, I'm gonna collect the rest of the gems around here because I don't even think I can get all of the gems here because I have to learn how to swim, and I'm not sure if I can learn that right now. So, uh, I'm just gonna. Get what I can and complete the little tutorials that they have around here, and uh, then I'll end the video. So, uh, hooray! And also, my sheep, my friends, I love you. I love you so much. I will set you on fire and eat you. Eat you. You're delicious. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. All right, all right. I guess I'll I guess I'll help you guys uh, since I kind of have no choice at this point. Oh, uh, I, I said learn how to swim. You do know how to swim, but you 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 have to learn how to swim underwater. I feel like uh, I feel like that that's kind of the most backwards way to learn how to. S I, I don't know. It, it seems odd to me, but uh, <laughs> let's let's move on. Uh, hmm. Is there any yes, there are gyms down here. I take, I gotta, I gotta make it difficult on me. Gotta climb down here, like all these. Although I'm, at least I feel like there's an actual purpose. Like I'm not getting a bunch of gems just to unlock the level to collect a bunch of more gems. That that, that doesn't make any sense to me. This time around, I can actually spin these things for abilities. It's uh, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice, honestly. All right. Is that all of them? Uh, yeah. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Oh, I hate, I hate tutorials on a sequel to a game because, I mean, I understand that it's for the new players, but for somebody returning, um, yeah. Oh, oh no, as if I don't do that all the time. <laughs> okay, um, get these, uh, let's just talk the money back. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. You don't say! You don't say! Alright, let's talk the money bags. Let's see how much the main uh, gems Sorry, means. Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. 500 gems to swim underwater. Good god, this guy is. Ugh. Okay. But I can get 500 gems fairly easy. Um, there's a world right here. What is this world, anyway? Uh, it is... Idle Springs. Alright! So, that will probably be in the next video. Right now, like I said, I'm just gonna focus on this, get all the gems, complete, uh, uh, the, uh, tutorial thingy here. Which I think that there's one point in the, the tutorial that is actually fairly difficult. I think it's a jump that's annoying. Yeah, uh, I probably overdid it a little. Probably not difficult, but just a little annoying. Well, I might fall off once or twice, and then have to redo the whole thing. I think you have to redo the whole thing. I can't remember. Let's just start. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Yep. Let's try putting it to a test. See if okay. you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Oh, okay. All right. This might be a challenge. Hang on. Let me prep for this. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay. Pretty difficult. Not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump. Then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. He talks a little condescending. He sounds just a little condescending. 
<laughs> You'll have to glide. Really? Really? You know? Uh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Nice He's grinding job. my gears. Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump. Then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. All right. Here. Go. Yeah. Oh, whew, 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 whew. Maybe that was a difficult jump. If so, I suck back in the day. <laughs> Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. All right. I like how he can just <laughs> leap across. All right. Go. Uh, wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Here's an orb for your collection. Hey, we need 14 uh, orbs to uh, to uh, defeat him. Uh, I already have one. Okay. Um, is that it? Did I, did I complete everything? Did I get all the gems that I can't? There's a gem down here. I'll go get it. Yeah! The, the, the one gem. The one gem. Uh, and there's... Oh, there's actually another level over here. Colossus. Uh, ain't that like the, uh... Asian level? Or... Uh, what is it where... Oh, no, you, it's the Yeti level, right? I think. Hmm. Okay, so there we go. I, I got pretty much all the gems I can for the moment. Um, I also completed... I can't remember <laughs> what the last level was, but I completed it, and I got most of the gems. In fact, I didn't get all of the gems on either one of these worlds, so... Yeah, there, there, there's also a lot of backtracking in this one, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you do have to go back a couple times to different levels... I think. Probably. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, next video, I'll end it here. Next video, I'm probably gonna do Idle Springs and Colossus and probably learn how to swim underwater. I already know how to swim, but I, underwater, I, I'm, I'm apparently stupid at that point. But, uh, yeah. So I'll end it here. Till the next video, I'll miss you. Yeah!